when I still think about the importance of making friends. I still remember when I was still doing my undergraduate degree, one of the things that I had made as a priority was to never take for granted the influence that others have on my life, whether it is my mood, whether it is my reflection, my my thought pattern, whether it is the fact that I'm feeling lonely or not, I had to constantly respect the fact that others played a vital role on how I felt. I still remember there was a, a particular instance I met a good friend of mine, John Azik. And John and I are still friends today, really good friends actually. I still remember we met during in a meeting of the African Student Association. Being an African myself, John was from Nigeria. And I still remember we met, we have never met before. And I still remember he had ran for a specific position in this organization. And I came for a meeting because I wanted to meet other Africans that were there. And I remember from the first time we started, uh, I, saw, I, I saw him talk. I was like, okay, that's good to see another young man who is ambitious. Uh, but John was nervous. As much as he was ambitious to try to different things, he was also somewhat nervous in the way he spoke. And, but at least I saw that, okay, here's a guy who is still courageous in the way he looks at things, who still has this desire to, to want to be great. And to me, that said a lot in terms of what he could be, what he could potentially achieve. And I was really impressed to see that he was someone who was not necessarily um, wanting to be so boastful of himself, still remain approachable, even though he was running for position. And I think that that says a lot to the fact that we were friends until today. And I think during this time when you're doing stuff academically, you're in school, it's vital for you to be able to have those friends, those people who are playing in a particular significant role in your life in terms of being constant, consistently there, being always a voice of reason, somebody that you can go and talk to, somebody that can listen to you, somebody who has uh, your best interests at heart. Building friendships is vital because many of those friendships that we built during this part of our times were in school end up lasting a lifetime. Now that I've been out of school for a couple of years now, uh, John and I will stay friends. I mean, I've been to his house. Uh, he's been to my place. I've introduced him to my family. He's introduced me to his family. I was even honored to the point where I still remember whenever there was a passing of his father, he invited me to be part of that. I mean, a very intimate um, a ceremony. Uh, and then there was a celebration of, you know, him kind of like passing and going. Uh, from earth to glory and I was honored to be invited to be part of that and uh, been kind of you know adopted as one of his brothers by his siblings and his mother and uh, all that is possible because you value the friendship that is first place there so friends they play a key role I still remember a good friend another good friend of mine uh, Rosanna and how we had met, I still remember I met her my second year of my undergraduate degree. And uh, we first kind of like had this common class, we were taking biology together and we really didn't know what we were doing. At least I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. It was one of those courses that was quite challenging. But I still remember that having someone else who could also, I could, uh, you know, sometimes make jokes about the fact that the course was difficult, but at the same time, it was not somebody who, um, she was relatively smart in biology, so she did not necessarily let me uh, remain into a, a, a situation where it was okay for me to not try. So she pushed me, she, con she continuously tried to take me to the next level, to start thinking higher, to take more time with my notes, to review my notes, to take more detailed notes when I was in class. And, I, and I'm really thankful for her for that because I was able to have a passing grade on that biology class that year because of the friendship that we had. And our friendship continue until today. 
um, there's been some ups and downs, and, and I think that's part of friendships. I, I mean, no one is going to have a friendship that is continuously just high, because we're human, and we have flaws. We have you know moments wherever we feel great, and moments where we feel down, and moments where we make mistakes, and we apologize, and we try to rectify the situation. I still remember feeling really bad when because I was a year ahead of. Of Rosanna and I had finished actually about a year or two years before her and I still remember she she came to my graduation she even, even had her family there her mother was there um, her stepdad was there her sisters were there all to celebrate what I had done I was so moved I was so touched by that I had promised her that I'll be her for her graduation and you know what happened I didn't make it I wasn't able to do so because there was other previous engagement that were just coming in a way and I really felt bad for a long time. That's just to show you that as friends sometimes, even with the good desires, we sometimes still fall short. Even with good desire, we still sometimes make mistake. Even with good desires, we still sometimes don't live up to maybe the own standard that we put for ourselves. But that's where friends, we learn how to forgive, right? We learn how to move forward. and. Is, is, is part of the journey. It's, it's the beauty in having that person that you can be able to say, I'm sorry, and heal the wound and move forward from there. And I encourage you, find that, that that's someone that you can entrust sometimes your goals, the dreams that you have. I still remember another good friend of mine, Stephen Thor. Stephen is kind of like a brother to me. And I remember meeting Stephen also uh, while doing my undergraduate degree and this was another person who was had a hunger for God who was passionate about seeing other people's life transform has he had seen that transformation happen and occur in his own life and seeing the passion in which he talked seeing the passion in which he was moving forward I was so moved and we started bonding we had so many commonalities things in common and as we spoke and I still remember we put this event together called Invasion which basically was a mega uh, type uh, music festival but it was a Christian focused festival uh, the, the heart was basically to introduce people to Jesus but to do it is so in a manner that was um, that was fun but that was safe you know there was we, we provided an alcohol free a drug free a violence free environment where it was like a concert type we had over close to over 2500 to 3000 people that came to that event it was an amazing event especially that it was only two guys who two years prior to that did not know each other that we came together we, we saw the vision we, we we went with it and i still remember uh being invited to his wedding him married with aaron and I still remember when they first started meeting and dating and, you know, I was kind of like being that, that friend that, you know, he would kind of tell me about what is going on with them and seeing how they were growing and maturing and faith and loving as a couple and growing. And when they got married, I was there. I mean, it's just an incredible time. Um, today, they have a baby boy, Judah, who I was honored to name me as the godfather um, to him. And you know, things like that really touch me, but they all stem from that importance of having genuine friendships, that importance of sometimes being intentional about building friendships. To me, my belief of friendship is kind of like a, a, a account that we have in each other where we cannot only make withdrawal within this account, but kind of like a bank account. You know, that friendship bank account is one where we have to be making deposits and not just withdrawal we cannot just come to be the ones who are taking all the time what are we investing in the life of others it might mean that sometimes you might have a limited amount of friends right because you can only give so much you can only do so much to so many people so instead of worrying so much you would limit the amount of what you're trying to actually uh, gain from them and instead invest a lot more into them and to me that that says a lot in terms of the value that we we should put ourselves as people who are friends and uh, always think to yourself what type of friend does this person that I want to be Fred want me to be 
and be that friend instead of just being the friend that you want others to love you, right? In other words, love them how they want to be loved. And you will see in turn, people will also start loving you how you want to be loved. And you know what? When people don't love you the way you want to be loved, it's okay. You know, sometimes there are people who are not going to love you maybe the way you would want them to love you. And that's okay. Right? It's part of life. It's part of the journey. And as the friendship grows, as you guys get to know more of each other, you'll learn some of these things. You'll learn how to deal with some of the the, the, the challenges or the misunderstanding. And you'll be able to move past that as friends. Well, that's really all I have. Learn how to be great individual and change be intentional about changing the life of someone around you can someone be able to say that because you're their friend their life has changed for the better remember you guys very best i'll see you next time